Okay, and then, okay, that's gonna come over here. Okay, and we're gonna be creating a new folder. APP 242-1, week four, where I'm going to want everything to go for this one. So we've got that set up now. Because um, Bill Sweeney actually helped me figure out, it, it turned out to be a problem with some of the sites or information not being where it should have been. Okay. We were able to get that figured out. So I know I want to get that created and done so I don't have to worry about losing that again and then okay, so we've got that so next step is going to be create new HTML to get the site started all right <clears throat> let's talk for a second in okay. chapter six one two three four five six last week right a couple of things. Tell me what you learned about that in week three. Um, the Dreamweaver is a royal pain in the neck one. Um, how important it is to have the site folders. Um, also doing, there are various ways that you can create templates. Okay, good. Utilize them. Good. Now let's talk about templates and and CSS and HTML. Let's talk about your design for for a second. Okay. What, what from these last three weeks? What have you learned about that process and templates and CSS and HTML? HTML is pretty much preset as far as you know the basics with it. CSS goes more into the design and prettiness I guess you could say of a site um, templates you know there are various ways you can do it you can you know create from scratch you can create it from like another basic layout or you can you know go and download the you know, download templates very um, good okay let's talk about that um, rather than just Jumping right in to create an HTML, let's talk about your uh, your design for a second. Okay. The process that you, based on these past three weeks, what have you learned about the process of designing a website? That it can be rather tricky. Um, th this has definitely been one of the, if not the most, frustrating mods for me. Um, and I don't know if it's just that, it seems like some of the concepts are just kind of dancing along the edge of my brain and not quite kicking in. Um, you know, I did see where they had mentioned that you could do things like, um, you know, I know you can import images and things like that. Um, and okay. Let me ask you some more questions. I'm going to I'm going to do what I can to pull out what you've uh, experienced and 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 draw some conclusions from that. Um, okay. What are the general? You mentioned a second ago, but if you if you bring up the assignment, what are the different approaches that you can take on on this uh, assignment? Um, numerous um you know just from the choice of what your site's going to be about which mine um what i'm doing mine about is actually like a series of stories that began when my twins were toddlers which is when i started making them up and telling them at bedtime 
you know, especially okay. after the six year old told them that, you know, if mommy tells you that if you don't go to sleep tomorrow, don't come, it's not true. <laughs> I kind of had to f figure out a new approach to get him to go to sleep. Okay. Um, and so, so let's talk about um, the design of, of a page. The design of the page. HTML and CSS are your basic ha have to haves almost in there. Um, HTML is the more technical aspect of that, whereas CSS you know, helps kind of beautify, helps kind of make the website different from if it, if it were just done in HTML, you know, a, I think a lot of the websites would look a lot alike. The yeah. CSS kind of helps personalize that aspect yeah. in different ways. Um, so, let's see. If you were to take a piece of paper and you were to sketch out the design <coughs> of a web page of this website that you're wanting to create basically a design um, or maybe even before that we can talk about a web page layout if I if I, I would say website layout if I said to you what is a website layout what does that mean how would you show that what what, what website would, layout it has to do with what's going to be in the website as far as um, text information as well as visual information, if that's available. Okay. And um, let's see. You drew a hierarchy of, of pages. What would that mean? Like a site map or... or um, what do you understand about different web pages within a website? They serve different purposes. Um, you know, home, about us, contact us, you know, that type of stuff. You know, there's also, you know, lots of different ways that you can set that up layout wise. Um, I know some of what I've written down for ideas for mine are like the um, history or intro of, you know, how the stories kind of came to be and such, um, you know, and then a bit about the author since, you know, they are books, um, you know, some, some story snippets, um, you know, means to contact me, another good one to put in there. Okay. Um, so if you were to have a piece of paper and you were to draw a square for each of these things, what's another word for the thing that we're talking about? Each of the things is a? Page. Good. That's right. So if you drew a piece of paper, a piece of paper and you drew a square for each web page, how many web pages in fact, do you happen to have that? Or for that matter, you could even draw it, you know, and... Uh, I've actually kind of written out quite a few of my ideas. And, I mean, looking at mine, yeah, I could probably easily, you know, come up with half a dozen even. All right. Um, let's, let's be clear about that. That's an important thing to, 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 to decide on first. Right. And obviously, you can always add to it. The, the, what's the right. requirement for the final? How many pages? At least three. Okay. So if you, in fact, uh, let's see. One thing you could do is, um, in fact, why don't you stop sharing your screen? I'll show you something really quick. Okay.
All right. In Microsoft Word, this program is on your on your um Yep. Yeah, I love getting into Word. <laughs> can you see Microsoft Word on my screen on your screen? Yes, I can. I'm sharing this, okay. And you can see the words I type. I can see this is yeah. Okay, good. All right, all right. So there's a thing called uh, Smart Art in yep Microsoft Word, and and then there's a thing called a hierarchy. Yep. And um, the nice thing about this is that it's a way for you to design and click cancel there. Uh, this is a way that you can design the site map of your website. So go over to right. art, click hierarchy and choose one of these. This is the one that I prefer. Okay. And, um, this is just for helping you think about your design. <clears throat> I'm going to change it to a uh, uh, landscape. Okay. Um, let me see if I can make it bigger. And at the very top, I'll say home. And then from there, uh, let's say an about page. And um, contact page. Now, we don't have to go underneath about to another thing so I can just delete this one. See if I can just delete it there. Interesting, I can make the changes right here and they'll reflect it over there. Oh yeah, I've actually had a lot of fun designing um, graphs and uh, more visuals for some of the articles for some of my writers. So you, you uh, said you wanted an about page and a contact page. What other web pages did you say you wanted? Um, some story snippets and artwork, I think, would be really good now story snippets and artwork are, are those uh, going to be combined the artwork is are they for the stories or what um yeah there's one that i'm working on um and um what i'm well a couple i'm working on for one of the stories that i'm writing and you know, mind you this has been a while in working but um is you know instead of like the Indy 500 where they're racing net you know race cars, doing something like a fire truck 400 where you've got a bunch of kids in their dreams that are racing fire trucks. Okay. Um, so let's so see. The fire well, trucks one that needs to be designed, and that's one that. All right. Yeah. You know, so if pretend like you have a web page for your about web page to contact, and now. Can you do all you want on one web page, or what's your plan there uh, for the stories and pictures? For that, I could because the other graphic that I'd really like to get going is of Mr. Sleepy Face Man. And hey, hold on one second. Now, um, think about the user's experience when they come to your website. When they click on stories, what what comes up on the screen? Um, picture of Mr. Sleepy Face Man. Okay, how big is that picture? Practically, how much of the screen does it fill up? I don't think I'd want it filling up more than 25, 30% of the page. If, okay. if even anywhere near that much of it. All right, so is that one story? Are there gonna be lots of well, stories that you're- Mr. Sleepy with? Face Man is probably going to be like somewhere on each of the pages because 
he's the one that makes all the kids dreams come true so he's kind of the like the constant thread through all of the stories okay um you know so in one way or another you know he'll be implemented into all of the pages all right now what i'd like you to do uh, is share, share your screen and can you um do go into microsoft word like we just did and and start designing your web website okay if word will open there we go oh good i didn't lose that let me save this right quick or did i save it Oh, good. I did save it. Okay, good. So that one's good. So close that for now. File. New blank document. Okay. Smart art. Okay. I chose the one upper right corner. Right. Yeah. I'm just debating on. Oh, okay. Actually, I kind of like that one. Okay. So, I'm going to have. Um, okay. You have. About. Actually, actually, no, Can be deleted. Okay, so maybe something like that. So, and then that way, there's so a from the history to um. All right. So uh, from the history page, do you just have what is his the history page for? Okay, what in the world happened there? Okay. There we go.
Okay. Now, um, how many do you want just one web page coming off your Sippy Face land history? Um, or that, you know, how much content, how are you going to do the content of your story snippets? Because you, each of these squares represents one web, page, web, one web page. Okay. Let me get down here to them. Um... I know I've, I think I've got that one going, or pretty much done, and aside from just going back and editing through that. Okay, or maybe not. Okay. Let me come back over to here. I know I don't have those done yet. Is it this one I thought I had? Maybe I've done some already on. I know I've got some. Okay, I do have some here. Let's see. So, um, you're, you're, what are you thinking right now? Um, With this one, I'm kind of thinking maybe just pull like a paragraph or two kind of out of it as far as, um, you know, for, um, you know, like kind of share kind of where I've got you know, an idea on this one. Um, I know I've also got the fire fire truck one I've been kind of working on too um, or getting there all right so it sounds like you have one document for each adventure right right and that's one thing with these stories the adventures you know can literally be endless which you know was you know Actually, when I managed to come up with them was really ingenious. I actually used to have a whole bunch written out on paper in a notebook, but my ex-husband threw it away. So I wasn't able to, um, you know, wasn't able to keep that information, you know, so I actually lost a lot of stories because of that. Okay, so let's but, think for a second. Um, now, you have whatever, like eight or nine stories. Now, think about right. someone coming to your website. Nine, yeah. And coming to your website, and they want to experience, and I think, are you interested in, presenting each of each of these stories like a brief of, of each of each I haven't gotten that far yet you know because I know with rate with the sleepovers and the soccer game concert spider-man um, unfortunately I haven't gotten all that far and there's actually another one that I have too that I want to get that I'd like to get started on that um, one of my nephews likes to build things, likes to build like, um, you know, he's really into like architecture and such. And so one of the stories that I'm wanting to do kind of geared toward him is where he gets to design the Sleepy Face Land amusement park and zoo. And um, for the title, for that one, what I'm wanting to do is 
or for not so much for the title as for the um signage you know for the name of you know for the sleepy face land amusement park and zoo um where i have a different animal for each letter that's in the name all right now for his let's say you come to your website and you hit your your home page then what what describe your experience for me you go to your website you hit your home page and then what hmm see and i haven't really gotten that far and i know that's a lot of the trouble too um Actually, you know, I wonder. I'd so, love it if I could figure out a way to have, like, Mr. Sleepy Face Man, like, almost, like, greet them on the homepage. Okay, would that be uh, a graphic or... Right. Or what? It would be a graphic. Though, if I could make it into an interactive graphic, that would be really awesome. Yeah, uh, animations. You learned that how to do that in an Adobe Flash class. Right, and I have I had Flash last mod actually too. Oh, cool! So, in fact, what I did for my final for that one, I actually had a lot of fun with it. Um, get back over here. Who taught you in that class? Um, who did I have? Michael Brooks. Uh huh. Yeah, because I think I had Loki for the class before that. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually ended up going in after I'd submitted it and tweaking the nose a bit more. And when I showed it to um, one of the kids, I think it was, was like, wow, mom, you could have had him take his hat off with that nose of his. That's cute. I like it. So, I mean, you know, and I, you know, I, you know, I, I also thought, given the time of year, how appropriate, you know. Yeah, very well done. Thank you. Like I said, I had a lot of fun with that. There were times I wanted to throw the damn snowman through a window, but I had a lot of fun with it, you know. Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, so you could create an animation that was on your home page. Um, okay. With this. What's his name again? Mr. Sleepy Face Man. Okay, do you have any uh, images and graphics that to show him? Not yet. I've been working on one. What I'm wanting to do is kind of do him where he's like in a cloud. And he has his face and um, you know, this giant ball of just red hair. It's kind of what I'm wanting to do. Um, but it's just been kind of one of those nights with it. And hopefully I'm hoping maybe taking a bit of a break from it here. Like I've done, I can hopefully pull it off a bit better. Um, straighter to open now, if you don't have any graphics, you know, the, your job is really not to create so many graphics for this web. I mean, that, I, right. If you can, that'd be great. Right. Yeah, and I'm thinking the big one would be, you know, getting Mr. Sleepy Face Man, you know, created. Yeah, that's, you know. that's big. So, um, so what images, what resources and assets do you have to work with? Um, 
at the very top of this document, was there a graphic there? Yeah, that was just like a really tentative one there for the fire truck. Okay. Um, now, mind you, my stick my stick fig figures get made fun of, so you know, <laughs> it was you know, like I said, um, the roadway, you know, the you know road there for the race, you know, was kind of the plan for the black circles there. And then, you know, the fire trucks, you know, um, that they're going to be racing. And, of course, I've still got to remember who's this one is for. And I'm thinking this one was Sean's, if I remember right. But right, so what, uh, this right here is actually, like, the history and how... He came, you know, how Mr. Sleepy Face Man came to be. Okay, so you got a lot of text. What about, and, and uh, do you have any images other than the one that's up there? Or could, do you want to reuse the images that you have? Um, that's really the only one that I have. Um, as far as that goes, with the other ones, like, um, these were ones that I kind of pulled off the web. I thought this one kind of had almost like a Hogwarts-ish flavor to it. Yeah. Um, and, and I thought that was kind of neat. And I, I'd have to go back and see if I could dig that up where, you know, it's, you know, one that's labeled for reuse with modifications and, you know. And I think that's kind of the way it is with most all of them anymore that I have. Um, Sess was with the dragon. Of course, part of it with Sess is he's been really wishy-washy about what he wants his adventure to be. Which, of course, makes it so much easier for Aunt Tori to you know, to even do graphics and things like that for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, gotta love all the nieces and nephews. Yeah. But, um, let's see. I, aside from my four, I have, what is it, another, I have two, two more nieces and then four more boys. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah, that's kind of where the jumping off point was for, you know, keeping the stories going, though. You know. Um, All right. So, um, and actually, so I come to your home page and I read a little bit about, uh, Sleepy Face Land history, and uh, how do I how do I get to your about the other web page? What do I do? About the author. Author. It's um, you click on a link to that one. Okay, and uh, then how do I get to the contact Tory page? Another link. From where? From, from the about the author page. Well, okay. actually. No, that's that's fine. You decide. It's up to you. Yeah. I well, I'm kind of going back and forth because you know we could do contact, you know, from the homepage as well. Yeah, I see your point, and that makes sense too. Yeah, because you know, I mean, on the one hand, you know, I'd like to keep the sides to where they're balanced. You know what I mean? Where you go from home. You know, into the Sleepy Face Land history and then the story snippets and then from the home to the about the author and contact information, which, you know, would keep them balanced. All and right, so tie so both. Click on the, so kind of tie the links together. How do I get to Sleepy Face Land history? What do I do? I'm sorry? I'm on your home page and how do I get to your Sleepy Face Land history? There'd be a link right 
on that page. Okay. And so then I link to the web page, Sleepy Face Land History, and then what? What what's my experience? What what do I what do I do from there? Um on there, you know, like we have the um history, you know, the history there, you know, written down on how the stories kind of came to be and such. Okay. You know, um and then I'm on that web page, reading then, a little bit about the history. Right. And, and how do I connect to the snippets? There'd be a link from the from the history. There we go. That's right. There'd be a link from the history page to the story snippets page. Okay, so I click a link to go to the story snippets page, and then what's my experience when I land there? Um, what I'm thinking is a sampling of a couple of, you know, like the cease or sorry, our nickname for serenity is cease. Um, you know, a s snippet from, you know, her story here, you know, through okay, here. Okay. So I'm on the, now I'm on the web page of snippets. Uh, right. And I have one screen. And what do I fit on the one screen? What I'm thinking is, you know, maybe a couple paragraphs about, you know, of an excerpt from Cease's story and the same with the fire truck 400. Okay. Now you've got nine stories. Are you interested in sampling each of the nine? No. Um, Right now, these two are really the only two that I've actually delved into very far. And I think the two snippets, you know, kind of give would give you like a feel for how the stories are. Okay, will the two snippets all appear on one web page? That was kind of what I was thinking. Okay. Just you know, just a couple paragraph excerpts from both from each of them. You know. All right. Another possibility, and so you could scroll up and down one ex excerpt, and then another excerpt. Right. Um, another possibility would be to create a separate web page for each ex excerpt. Okay. That's just a thought. It doesn't matter to me. All right. Okay. So so far, we've got a design. Uh, we've got four web pages or five actually, so so that should be good um, on your design. We just only need three, right? In fact, you could do home page and then about page. If you want to start really small, home page and then an about page, and uh, on that about page you can have some contact information, and then a stories page. And so from your homepage, you click either on the about or the history or maybe just stories. Anyways, uh, and then click on the about, then there's information about you plus contact information. You click on the uh, stories page and there you have two snippets on that web website. That would be the simplest thing. Let's start with that design, just three web pages. Okay. And, um, now that we got that clear, you can either save this design document that you started with the hierarchy or. Okay, if I can find it again here. <laughs> you know, you can just dump it. It doesn't matter because we, we have a plan already. So it's up to you if you want to keep that design around or if you want to dump it. Okay. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, it's that one right back there. There we go. Okay, so it, instead we'll be doing the, so. Okay, so we'll be doing about. And then. Okay. Okay, 
So we'd be going home about and then the story snippets. Okay, so we'll save. Come on, Mac. Okay, so I've got that saved now. Okay. Now, okay. with that design in mind, you can now um, go into Dreamweaver. Okay. And um, now we've got our site design, three web pages. Next step is um, doing a page layout. And okay. so how do you how do you decide what page layout to use? Um, what are your options when you are going to decide on a page layout? What kind of template? You, if you well, if you want to even use a template, if you want to design it by yourself, good. Those are usually the two starters. Very good. Um, all right, so what's your choice? Uh, you could start really simple and use a template that, or a layout that somebody else has designed and then modify it. Right. Yeah, and I've actually gone through a bunch, of I've been through a bunch of templates today and haven't really found very many that I really liked there was one or two, but when I got a closer look at them, I wasn't quite so sure about them. Let me see if I can find that one. I think it was here where I found that one. Okay. There was this one here, but I wasn't really as impressed as I'd hoped to be with this. I thought with the clouds, it might could work a little bit neater for me, but just didn't work for me when I saw how that one looked. Um, I know another thing that I need to kind of think about too is colors, you know, colors, what kind of, vibe I want the website to give off uh, you know different things of that nature as well is there, a, is there a palette that you like a palette of colors um personally the colors that I tend to lean toward are more um does it cool there we go are more um purple pink and turquoise are actually my favorite colors, but I don't think that would really work for um, what I've got in mind here for this. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. See, so is there a palette? Though, that you given like? that I do have one story, no, I wouldn't want to do that. No, I don't like that idea actually anymore. Or not really.
See what we've got here. So I actually kind of like this one some. Now, I'm wondering if, I'm pretty sure that we're going to find that template in Dreamweaver. Okay. So I actually kind of like this one or that one. Why don't you get the name and, and let's see if Dreamweaver. Actually, there we go. Let's see, it's just plain chic is the name on that one. And I've actually, looks like they've got a bunch that are just named like that. But I think that one could also be fun, too. And since it's a site that's going to be geared more towards children, I wonder. find anything with that. Okay. And of course, something else that I need to factor in is how Mr. Sleepy Face Man is going to work up work on the pages as well yeah um you don't have any images like yet for those but um right so but yeah he's, he's gonna be in a cloud though so all right and so now that you have you're gonna go with that that one uh palette yeah i think i like that chic one that that we were at before yeah how do you spell it again? C H I C. C H I C. C. Okay. All right. Let's go into um, back into Dreamweaver. Okay. And what are you going to do for a page layout? What did you decide? Um, home, about, and stories. Okay. And how about the design of a web page? What do you want to do about that? Do you want to use a template, a layout, download a template, borrow somebody's CSS code? What would you like to do? Start with a template. Okay, and would you like to download one that you like or do you want to uh, use the layouts that are built into Dreamweaver? Let's try using the layouts that, that are built into Dreamweaver. Okay, so um, on this, why don't you click more underneath the middle column. Let's see what it gives us. Okay. All right, and we have to now choose one of these layouts. Do you know which one you want? Well, I know with me working in the um, 
when I do the newsletter, I like to use the, um, two to three columns, or at least have that for the, um, you know, as like a basis to kind of work around. All right, so which of these so. designs? You can just click on the ones down the middle layout and, and they'll have a little preview thumbnail in the upper right. Okay. Thinking. Hmm. When it has a lock, that means it's fixed width or height. That would be percentages. And when it's a curvy line like that, that means it's dynamic. Okay. Do you, do you understand the difference between the fixed and the dynamic? Do you have any idea how that might work? Not completely, I don't. All right. Let's say you have a, a small screen. Uh, let's say I have like a little 13-inch screen. And okay. um, if, if you had a fixed design and I, and I went to your website, it would take up, uh, let's say the design of our website was fixed to the dimension of, let's say, 10 inches. Okay. So, I come to your website, it comes up on my screen. I don't remember, I think I said I have a 13 inch screen. Right. It'll be 10 inches on my 13 inch screen. Okay. Now, if I go to like a 17 inch screen and it's fixed website, the design, it will be 10 inches on that screen too. Okay, so, so liquid would def liquid adjusts to the size of the screen that you're viewing it on. That's exactly right. Okay, so then that's definitely what we'd want to do. We'd want to go with a liquid one. I'm just kind of debating whether I want to have the header and footer on there or not. Hmm. I think why don't we do it with the header and footer on there? All right. I think that could work. And then Okay, so we have that. Okay. All right, now the next question you have to ask yourself is how you want to incorporate CSS. And there's three ways of doing it. Do you have any <laughs> idea what the three ways of including CSS in your design? Do you have any idea? Um, SSI, which was server side includes, right? Um, that one could also like with HTML do, do it from a template that's already there. Do it yourself. Um, I do remember that CSS has a lot of different possibilities. You've got, you know, your external sheets that you can use. Um, things of that nature as well. Yeah, you can do an in uh, you can have your CSS built right into your HTML, or you can have your CSS in a separate file. Okay, right. If I have it built into the HTML and I don't like how it looks with something or other, 
there could be a lot of editing involved for me. Right. Which kind of leads me to think it probably be better to just do it myself. Um, having an external CSS file. So this, as you can see on the screen in the lower right, it says attach CSS file. Right. Or it says above that add to head and the right. add to head is the scenario where it's embedded right within your HTML file. Okay. And um, I like, oh, actually the assignment says you need to have an external CSS file. So. Okay. So. So right there on the lower that. that CSS file. Um, why don't you click on the link? Um, okay. I think it's going to assume that we already have a CSS file though. Yeah, that looks like it. Yeah. All right, so let's cancel this because let's, I want to first create that and cancel, uh, I want to say, wait a minute. Before we can create our HTML design, look, and we want to have an external CSS, I think the first step is that we, we uh, create an SS, CSS file. Now, we don't need to create the, the full file that's got all the information, in it, but we do need to create like a file that we can add information to it. Right. So, um, so let's create a dummy CSS file. So in, in that column where it says page type, go down to a CSS and okay. uh, then click create. Okay. And you don't need to put anything in there. This is just a placeholder. So once you do file save, and you can call it whatever file name you want, but it needs to have a .css. Looks like. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to end up, even though it's a dummy file it's going to end up becoming our real style. Okay, so. Sure. Um, you could use the word styles or CSS styles or just styles. Styles is fine. Because we always, already have the CSS in the file extension, so. Well, that works. Good. Okay, let's. Okay. Um, now I want you to browse to the folder where you set up your account it looks like you're there okay yep all right click save all right so now that's done now we have the placeholder css file let's go back and do a file new and do your web page layout and this time um click where it says attach CSS file to the right, mm -hmm. click that and then browse and select it. And then click open. Okay. Wait a minute, to make a document relative path, your document should be saved first. File, okay. Click okay. And then let's see. What did, what just happened? Um, why don't you click browse again? Um, I think this is going to be, this won't be a document. Go, go down uh, and then right, it says relative. Uh, click that and click site root. And now, uh, see, this is, let's see. Currently, instead of validation, the others can site definition. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Oh, uh, it, it it kept it. So the link change default link relative to in the site definition. Change default link relative to in the site definition. All right. Well, let's not worry about that. Select file name from site root. Okay. Let's click open. Let's see if it lets us do this. Okay. 
and I'll click OK. Exists. Oh, what the hell do you mean it doesn't exist? It's weird. Um, it doesn't let us do relative until we save it. Oh man, it's the order of this is just crazy. Um, relative links. Okay, so a catch anyway would be no, right? Because if it doesn't exist, what's there to catch? Yeah, go ahead and say no. And okay, it needs us to create the HTML file because we want to do things relative to the document. So right. let's see. Page type. Play, create a template, maybe. Let's see. Let's try doing the template. Go underneath page type and hit HTML template just below it. Okay. And now try to attach the CSS file. Let's see if it behaves any differently. Relative to document, it's probably going to complain again. Go ahead and click open, but I think it's probably going to complain. Yeah. It should be saved. Document should be saved first. <laughs> okay, so it has to be saved first. We got that one. But then to do it to the site root, you need to set a valid HTTP, <laughs> HTTP address. And then that means it would be an online website. Uh, and that's right, which not we don't want to do. Let's see. So, cancel this and uh, cancel that. Um, let's just go ahead and click create. Okay. To uh, file save as template. Down, oops, click cancel. Oh, yeah, um, it's wanting us to create the editable regions. Now, the way to do that, let's see, it doesn't want us to save templates until we have editable regions. Okay. And then editable re regions, that would actually be everything on here, pretty much. Yeah, the each section could be considered its own editable region. Right. So let's go ahead and select the, the way to do it is you uh, select the code of the section that uh, the text no, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I meant to say text, and I didn't mean to say code. You, you, you don't need to be in split view. Okay. So select mm -hmm. all the text with your mouse, starting at the eye of instructions, and go all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Okay, and then, and then insert, insert template objects. Template objects. There we go. Editable region. And you can call it whatever you want. You can even take the default. It doesn't matter. You can, yeah, in content. That's fine. And then you can actually click delete, and there's still a uh, placeholder. It's still there. Yep. Okay, and, and then, yeah, good. Do the other stuff. Okay. What if I do that as an optional, editable, optional region on that one? Okay.
And that's what the bright sidebar. Yeah. Come on, Mac. Are you kidding me? My keyboard's frozen up on me. Damn it. Why in the world has my keyboard frozen on me? What what are you doing? A uh, quick uh, repair disk permissions. My keyboard has frozen up on me. And unfortunately, more often than not, when it does, this is inevitably what I have to do. I can get it back briefly by restarting it, but then it's just a handful of time until I have to do this again. So, see if what is wrong is actually what I'm thinking it is. Really? which I'm suspecting it's something with the library permissions because that's usually where the problem lies. And I have no idea why I'm having trouble with that now. Actually, check something here too. Hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of these are kind of interfering too. Go over to that. Let me see here if it will let me do anything more here. There we go. Right side. Okay. And then Now that is a little bit different okay because it's links what you can do there is you can change them to your link name okay and so we have link one another one would be out and the third one okay, home would be stories maybe or or maybe the name of your character 
or something like that. Okay. 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 Let's do contact and contact. There we go. Contact author. All right. That sounds good. All right. Now do a file. Save it. My template, if you want, or okay, so got that. And then the logo will be Mr. Sleepy Face Man. Once I get him drawn. Okay. And then um, and I'm debating whether I want to make him an illustrator or is or if I want to try and make him in flash as a um, movable object type of thing. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Let's attach to your design that external CSS file. Um, okay. Now, there are different ways to do it. Um, the internal CSS. Go down to the lower left. Uh, and it says HTML lower left down on off the screen right there. Now click mm -hmm. on CSS. Okay. And let's see here. That's individual CSS for that. Oh. Take those off for a while. All right. Okay. Now let's go okay. up right. So I need to hold on one sec. And can you can you still hear me? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Chip, can you still hear me? Yeah. You can't hear me anymore? Hello? Hello? Okay, can you hear me, Chip? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Chip, can you hear me? Yes. Why can't you hear me? Can you hear me, Chip? Hello? Hello. 